Dah mulai semua dah lalu dah Rak pun sangkut Kereta dah tenggelam Flash floods hit Kuala Lumpur infrastructure and lives of residents severely affected. Kuala Lumpur was rocked by a flash flood disaster after heavy rain fell continuously in the last few days. This flood submerged many areas in the Malaysian capital, disrupting traffic and damaging important infrastructure. Several main roads were forced to be closed because the floods inundated the main roads for vehicles and caused long traffic jams. Habis kereta-kereta semua. Tak boleh buat apa. Jalan semua dia stop. Tak boleh buat apa dah. Reported by timenews.co.id from the YouTube channel Newarmu HD on Tuesday, October 15, 2024. The floods that hit the city of Kuala Lumpur and other residential areas have caused severe impacts and misery for the community. The impact was felt by local residents who were forced to evacuate from their homes which were submerged in water up to several meters. This condition adds to the pressure on the authorities who are already overwhelmed in dealing with similar disasters before. The city's drainage system seems unable to accommodate such a large volume of water in a short time. This flash flood disaster shows the increasing frequency of extreme weather in the area. The floods occurred so quickly, flooding highways and residential areas. Many are now calling for improvements to water management systems and infrastructure to reduce the risk of future flooding. The Klang Valley area, which includes Kuala Lumpur, has seen unseasonably heavy rain in the past couple of weeks, several weeks ahead of the usual November to January monsoon season. CCTV footage from Kuala Lumpur City Hall's DBKL transport information system showed several flooded roads in the city. Severe traffic disruption was observed in major trunk roads into the city, such as Jalan Pirak, Jalan Travers, near Bangsar, and the Sultan Iskandar Highway. DBKL readings from the Pusat Bandar, downtown KL, weather station showed more than 114 millimeters of rainfall in an hour, compared with an average of 60 millimeters an hour for most of the year in the capital city. In Parliament, Speaker Joe Harry Abdul had to call a temporary halt to proceedings as several MPs were held up by floods affecting Jalan Parliament and the surrounding roads. The session, scheduled to start at 10 a.m., was postponed by half an hour.
Emma's husband, Elia Mode Anuar, a 36-year-old bank employee working near the Patronus Twin Towers, a few kilometers from the House of Parliament, told the Straits Times that she had seen the water levels rising as she was driving to work at around 9 a.m. But the immediate area around the skyscrapers was not affected. In Taman Melawadi, Assistant Commissioner Mode Azam Ismail, chief of the Ampan Jaya Police District, said they received a report at 10.30 a.m. about the landslide in an old section of the township. Twenty terrace houses have been cut off because of the landslide. A parked car in one of the houses and guardhouse have been damaged. No casualties have been reported, he said in his statement. Everyone affected by the landslide has been moved to a multipurpose hall on nearby, Jalani 5 in Taman Melawadi, he said, adding that the police, fire department, and Ampang Jaya Municipal Council officers have been deployed to the scene. Ms. Shamsher Singh Gill, a freelance media consultant, told ST that he found out at the landslide from the neighborhood WhatsApp group at around 10 a.m. When I visited the site, the police told us that they are concerned that another landslide will occur if the rain doesn't stop as there is still water flowing at the hilltops, said the 46-year-old. Ms. Rosanna M. Rosley, a master's degree student at University of Malaya, said that as a result of the floods, her classmates requested that their class, which runs from 6 p.m. to 9 p.m., be held online on Oct 15. How are we supposed to go to class with the floods? A few of my classmates walk to class, but where can drivers park? It's dangerous for us to attend our class physically, she said. Ms. Rosanna said her lecturer told the class they could attend the lesson physically or online, but the university's administration did not disclose whether any other classes had been cancelled. In Gombak District, Selangor at the eastern edge of KL, Facebook user Edgy Yusup shared a video of pupils standing on tables in the Tabika Kima's kindergarten and Kampong Klang Gate to escape the rising water. Dear God, the teachers and children are trapped by the floods. Please help them. May they be safe, he said. The fire and rescue department sent a team to evacuate the pupils and four teachers after receiving a report of the incident at 10.20 a.m. We have instructed the residents in four houses in the affected area to vacate to a nearby hall, while the 21 pupils at the kindergarten have been returned to their parents, said Selangor Fire and Rescue Department Deputy Operations Director Ahmad Muklis Mokhtar in a statement. 